Hello everybody, this is Narada Rishi Raja with ExpeditiousFool.com where we remove our obstacles by focusing on that wonderful DMP each and every day, daily mindfulness practice. So right now I want to do a video. Um, I just got back from the used bookstore and uh, I was there, uh, I was sitting and I was reading uh, copy of the Bhagavad Gita. Y'all know I talk about that a lot. Um, and a lady came in, my son opened the door, held the door for her, and she made like a, a beeline straight to me sitting there. She goes, what are you doing? I was like, hey, I'm reading. And she goes, well, what are you reading? I said, the Bhagavad Gita, the Song of the Lord. And, uh, she started telling me a little bit about her heritage, um, which didn't really go into the conversation. But uh, then she she said, uh, she's like, now the reason why I I hate God is what she said is I really want this question answered. And she came in and she's in her late 60s and she had a cane. She has scars from here all the way around. And she said, I want to understand, you know, if this God's so good, why did he let my mom and my stepfather set me on fire, right? And I knew what the situation was as soon as it came in. She requested a meeting with God. So she wanted to tell God how upset she was. So I let her. Then in my way, I explained to her that these challenges that we go through, even when they seem totally un unspeakable, you know, they, they get brought on us when they're really bad like that, when you're a child and there's, there's literally nothing you, you could do, right? That's when these situations, they come through because what you're supposed to do is it almost, when it's, when it's something big like that, you're supposed to use that, learn how to transform that pain, learn how to transmute that. And when you do, that then becomes your service. That becomes what you teach others to do. So what I was explaining to her is that if in her life she had decided to use that as a springboard for teaching people how to overcome those challenges, right? Then her experience would have been different. I called out as like, your life has been filled with anger and sadness. Yes, yes it has, absolutely. Until you learn how to transmute the challenges and the struggles and the sufferings that you go through, then it does feel like pain. It adds to more suffering. It adds to more bitterness and resentment and it builds and it builds and it builds. So ultimately that is the entire game and the reason for the big suffering, right? Now afterwards, um, she said something about, um, yeah, she, she, she basically switched it to a completely different subject because she wanted to hang on and not she wanted to, the body wanted to hang on, hers wanted to hang on to that samskara, that program, over and over again. And, you know, she switched it to another thing she was angry about. And, you know, I had to end the conversation with, you know, I, I know, I know, I know there's, there's a lot that can make us angry if we let it, right? And that's exactly the lesson in it. We can be angry. We can be angry about a lot of things, and we can be justified in that anger. And I know a lot of people have heard this, and you think it's stereotypical, and you think it's cliche, but most people that say it don't understand. It's not cliche, right? Is when we hang on to the anger, we hurt ourselves, right? She couldn't, you know, maybe as a child, maybe she couldn't have stopped those people from setting her on fire. Most children couldn't, right? And no, that's not something that should ever happen. That's true. 
But when it does, we have to have faith that it's there for a reason. And that faith will allow us to pull through and transmute. That faith will allow us to turn any suffering into the greatest, greatest comeback that has ever existed. And truthfully, that's what makes humanity great. That's what makes being a human wonderful, is our, our insane tenacity when it comes to adaption, right? So I encourage each and every one of us when we're faced with those situations to lean a little bit more into our adaptive poly, um, powers and to really look for the deeper lessons. And when it seems like it's absolutely horrible, there's no reason that that should have happened to us. That's when we can know that there's a big clue there that this is going to lead to the work that we're going to be able to help others with. All right, everybody, I hope that this video helps. I hope it gives you a little bit more clarity. Have a great day on purpose and stay mindful, everyone. Namaskaram.